Hey day students, um, on this clip we're going to be going over uh, two examples on how to write equation of lines given two points. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the steps for um, uh, carrying out this procedure. Alright, so um, what are the steps for finding equation of lines, uh, writing equation of lines given two points? So here are the steps. First thing you want to do is you want to label the points x1, x, y1, and x2, y2. The, object, uh, the objective of uh, giving indices to the point uh, makes it easy for you to uh, make an accurate application of, of the formula without confusing your coordinates, okay? So you label the points x1, y1, and x2, y2. Um, after labeling the points x1, y1, x2, y2, you find the slope using the slope formula. You see, so this is the main reason why I like to have the points labeled, because most people interchange coordinates when using the slope formula and that results in an inaccurate slope uh, which throws up your solution, okay? So notice that the rise uh, is the movement along the y-axis, that's why I have y2 minus y1, and the run is the movement along the x-axis, that's why I have x2 minus x1. So this is delta y over delta x, all right? Okay, now um, after finding the slope using the slope formula provided um, in this yellow box, we're going to write a point slope equation. Point slope equation is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, okay? Um, it's a derivative of this uh, equation. All we just did is we just fixed y2 and x2 to variable, um, we just fixed them as y and x, and then allow these to float based on whatever our points are. Um, so this is basically derived from that. Now, this is another important reason why we have to label our coordinates so that when we are making use of the point slope equation, we don't make mistakes when uh, substituting the y1 and x1 coordinates, all right? So we'll write down our point slope equation to guide our substitution. Then we're going to plug in x1 and y1 that we had initially, and the m, the m that we found in step two, we're going to plug these those two result, uh, those three values into this equation. And then lastly, we just simplify. We can write it, um, depends on what our solution is. Um, this formulation is a point slope form. If the, if the problem asks us to write it in the slope intercept form, then we just apply the procedure that um, that uh, step number five involves, which is basically getting y by itself, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and try the first example. So for uh, question three, I'm going to write the equation of a line that goes through uh, the given points. The given points are negative 2, 3, and b equals b, which is negative 5, which is 5 and 7, okay? All right, now I'm going to provide you with the steps on the slide so we can make sure that we are following the procedure and applying it accurately, okay? So step number one, we're supposed to label the points x1, y1, and x2, y2. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to rewrite the points that were given, label them x1, y1, the first set of points, we're going to index them with the ones, and then the second set of points will index them with the twos. Okay. Uh, and then step number two says we're going to find the slope using the slope formula. So it's good to always write down your formula first before you apply it, um, so you have an accurate application. Okay. So write down the slope formula, and then we're going to plug in x1, y1, and x, y2 in the formula. So we have seven minus three for y2 minus y1, and five minus negative two for x2 minus x1. Okay. So when we do the arithmetic, 7 minus 3 is 4, and then 5 minus minus 2, multiply minuses, you get plus. So it's going to be 4 over 5 plus 2 in the denominator. All right, so your final result is going to be 4 over 7. Okay? All right, now we are done with our step number 2, which is finding the slope. Uh, next thing we're going to do is write down the point slope equation. Y, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Notice I always write the equation first before I make a, before I, I uh, make substitutions, okay? And then step number four, we are to plug in x1, y1, um, and m into the equation. So we're going to have uh, this y minus y1 is 3, plug that in, equals m, our slope that we found in step number two is four over seven, plug that in for m, times x minus x1 is negative two. 
So um, x1 is negative 2, plug it in. All right, so that completes uh, step number 4. We just plug it into the uh, points of equation. Now we're now going to go to step 5, which is to simplify. So we distribute the 4 over 7 into the quantities on the right. Remember, minus times minus is a plus. So that yields y minus 3 equals 4 over 7x plus 8 over 7. All right, to multiply 4 over 7 by 2, you can just write this over 1 and then multiply uh, horizontally, okay? Now this is the point-slope form of the equation of a line that goes through these points. Um, we can simplify it further or transform it into the slope-intercept form, which makes the slope and the intercept explicit. To do that, we're going to apply the following steps, which is basically add 3 to both sides, and then we just combine the constants, all right? So we add 3 to both sides. Uh, these 3 um, cancels out with the plus 3, and then we have a plus 3 on the right side. So we need to combine 8 over 7 over, with 3. The, the denominators are obviously different, so we have to find the LCD first um, before we can combine them. So we need to express 3 as a fraction with 7 as the denominator because the LCD of 1, which is under the 3, and 7 is 7. So we just multiply this 3 by 7 on the top and the bottom, okay? So that gives us y equals... Um, So um, that gives us y equals 4, 7x, 4, 7x plus 8 over 7 plus 21 over 7. So I'm ex expressing 3 as a number with a denominator of 7. So that's what you have, okay? Now that the denominators are identical, now I can combine them since they have the common denominator. So our final answer is going to be y equals 4 over 7x plus 29 over 7. Okay, so there goes our final answer, uh, 4 over 7, y equals 4 over 7x plus um, 29 over 7, all right? So this is the point slope, I mean, slope intercept form, and then this is the point slope form of the equation of a line that goes to these given points. All right, let's take a look at uh, example 4. Uh, question 4, we have, um, we have, um, we are to write the equation of a line that goes through um, 3, 3, and 7, 3, okay? All right, so uh, what we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to provide you with the steps again on the side, and then we're going to have the steps guide our whole problem-solving process, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we write the points, 3, 3, and 7, 3. We're going to label them x1, y1, x2, y2. Remember, the reason for labeling them again is to make sure that when we're making use of, when we're substituting them, we don't interchange coordinates, okay? So after labeling the points, uh, we're going to find the slope in step 2 using the slope formula y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1, okay? So always write down your formula first before you apply it so you do not make any mistakes uh, with the with the coordinates, okay? Uh, so y2 minus y1 is 3 minus 3, the y's, subtract the y's, and then x2 minus x1 is 7 minus 3. Please, you must maintain the order when finding the slope. If you interchange any one of these, like you write y2 minus y1 over x1 minus x2, you get an inaccurate slope, okay? It's going to throw off the sign. All right, so be, be careful with that. Um, so we're going to use the arithmetic tools to simplify this. So it's going to become 3 minus 3, 0 over, over 4. So this is your the slope, and we're done with step 2. Now moving along to step 3, we're going to write down the... Um, we're going to write down the point slope equation of the line. Oh, yeah, the slope is 0. 0 over 4 is 0. Um, so this is the point slope equation of the line. y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So what we're going to do is now plug in, as indicated in step 4, x1 and x2 and m. We have all of them, x1, x2, and m. We're going to plug all of them into this equation right here. Okay? All right, so we're going to have y minus y1. y1 is 3. A equals m of 0, or 0 before, which is just 0. Plug that in. Equals x minus x1. x1 is 3. Plug that in. And there goes your, your expression. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and simplify this. We just distribute 0 to the two terms in the parentheses. And that's going to give uh, us y minus 3 equals 0. Okay? Simplifying further by adding 3 to both sides, we have y equals 3. 
So that is the equation um, of a line going through these two points, okay? So if you notice, this is a, a, or this is a horizontal line. If you look at these two points, you would have noticed that uh, when the y is identical, then that's automatically the answer. So we didn't have to actually have to do this whole work. If we had observed the fact that the y is identical, that automatically means is y equals whatever the numbers are. If the x's were identical, for example, if the x's were 7, 7, then our answer will be automatically x equals 7. All right, so we, it's good to pay attention to the nature of the coordinates uh, to know if you can take shortcuts or not. But if you don't know, if you can't, uh, if you're not cognizant of the shortcuts, just follow this procedure, you will you always get the, the correct answer. All right, so there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here. Um, more videos can be found on myglitchtype.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.